Hey y'all, today I'm gonna show you how to make New Orleans style barbecue shrimp. This is a quick recipe, but you do need to do a little bit of prep ahead of time. So I'm gonna break it down into three parts. The first part, we're gonna make a spicy shrimp butter. Then we're gonna make a shrimp liquid that we're gonna deglaze the pan with. And then we're gonna cut some veggies for the shrimp mirepoix. And then we'll put it all together. So let's make the shrimp butter first. To make the shrimp butter, you're gonna need some unsalted butter, sambal olek, regular paprika, cayenne pepper, and sriracha chili sauce. For a full detailed recipe with exact measurements and ingredients, check the description below. So to make our spicy shrimp butter, I'm gonna use a half stick of unsalted butter. And I have this at room temp right now. It'll just be easier to combine them. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of sambal, tablespoon of sriracha, teaspoon of cayenne, teaspoon of paprika. If you need to measure, that's fine. I, I just, I don't feel like I need to measure. Teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna whisk this together and then I'm gonna set it aside. New Orleans barbecue shrimps, obviously it's not your traditional barbecue. I don't know the story of why it has that name, but New Orleans barbecue shrimp is basically just like a spicy shrimp dish using most of these ingredients that I'm gonna show you today. Now my little twist is obviously the, the Asian chili sauces, which is not traditional, but I love the combination of the chilies. It just gives it like a, a rounder, full flavored heat. So I have this pretty well mixed together because I'm just gonna set it aside. Now we're gonna make the, um, the deglazing liquid. So for our deglazing liquid, I'm just using a dry white wine, some Worcestershire sauce, and juice from a lemon. All right, so this is super simple. We're just gonna take three quarters of a cup of white wine, a quarter cup of Worcestershire, two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then I'm just gonna set that aside. For the rest of the dish, you need a pound of uh, peeled devein, jumbo shrimp, some minced onion, minced celery, minced garlic, some dried thyme, salt, pepper, some French roll, and parsley for garnish if you want. Okay, so I have a largish sa saute pan that I'm getting hot salt and pepper, my shrimp. Toss that a little bit. I'm over a high flame right now. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of canola oil to my pan, and then I'm gonna get in there. You wanna make sure your pan is big enough that shrimp aren't getting too crowded. This dish is gonna go pretty quickly. I'm getting just like just a few seconds in the pan right now. I'm gonna add my garlic, onion, what I'm referring to as my mirepoix in the recipe, if you're following the written recipe, my celery. So we're just getting a little color on the vegetables. And you wanna do this quickly because you don't wanna overcook your shrimp. These shrimp that I'm using right now are 1620 shrimp. And what that means is you get 16 to 20 shrimp per pound. So basically the lower the number, the bigger the shrimp. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna add my cooking liquid. And that is my, my white wine, Worcestershire lemon juice situation. I'm gonna deglaze this until it gets down to about a quarter cup of liquid in the pan. At this point also, the, the liquid from the shrimp is also being released. So this is looking like about a quarter to a third cup of liquid left in the pan. And at this point, 
This is where the magic happens. I'm gonna add all this butter to the whole thing. And it's gonna be, create this ridiculously spicy and delicious butter sauce. You see how that's coming together? So you're, the liquid is reducing and the butter is melting into this. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God, you are beautiful. You're so beautiful. I'm gonna take my shrimp out and I'm gonna keep reducing the sauce. You see how that sauce is just getting thicker and thicker. I'm also going to put my French roll down into this pan to toast. Ooh, that is a feast. You could serve this as an entree or um, I think it's a nice appetizer to start things off. And that sauce is actually done now. Whew. All right, we're just going to pour the rest of this yummy spicy butter sauce. God, my mouth is watering over that. Bread is good. Yay, I didn't burn it. A little bit of parsley. That's optional. But you know, if you go through all this trouble, why not make it gorgeous? And then we serve that with a little bit of toasted baguette on the side. Bon appetit.